Margaret Hassana used to be an actress and a beautician in her heyday. Back in 1995, she noticed something strange in her breast as she took a bath. Her curiosity prompted her to seek medical attention at a hospital where doctors carried out a biopsy. It went in my brain that, what if the results come and I have the cancer disease? A call back at the doctors proved she had breast cancer. The news to her meant death was beckoning. Her friends advised her against undergoing a surgery. She started treatment and a British lady friend referred her to Hospice Africa, a facility known for offering palliative care to people like her with life-threatening and chronic illnesses. The commonest conditions which need palliative care are cancers. Most of our cancers are actually the late. Persons with the HIV AIDS, uh, renal problems, liver problems. Outside there, it's not an easy thing, you know, like when you have a problem, people try to traumatize you. So they, they laugh at you, you know, they ignoring you, you know, you feel like committing suicide. That's what the po that was my next point, actually. But this facility provided her the treatment she badly needed. Her pain wasn't the only condition being handled. Palliative care is about comfort care because when a person has a terminal illness or a chronic illness, this person is experiencing physical pain, psychological pain, social pain. So your morphine will not treat my, psych uh, my psychological pain or my social pain. I need somebody who can talk to me and that person must be that experienced practitioner. I came as a patient but now I'm a survivor. Has is a story which proves that people with terminal illnesses can live much longer. Uganda produces a pain reliever called morphine at Hospice Africa in the Kampala neighborhood of Makindye. It happens to be the center of palliative care on the continent. Are we producing enough? You can say yes and no. The demand for morphine is ever increasing. The morphine that we produce currently is not sufficient to sustain all the Ugandans who need this kind of pain medication. However, as the Ministry of Health continues accrediting more health facilities, more Ugandans are getting more access to this drug. Clifford Ochan, the quality assurance officer also in charge of the morphine production unit, tells us that production is dependent on what the government asks for. We supply it free to both public and the, the private sector, especially NGOs. Although the drug is at times unavailable, the main challenge lies in having few prescribers. It is a prescription medicine. In any population, about 1% will need palliative care, about 300,000. And then uh, if you take that for each patient, you need about five, five attendants. Unfortunately, only 10% of these are getting that care. Look at the 90. What is happening to the 90? Our objective is that palliative care should be accessible to everybody whom it should be as available as air. Some patients like Margaret have recovered fully thanks to the nurturing, but others have passed away, though in a more dignified and less painful manner. Florence Talimba, NTV.